Okay, so I want to give a little 2022 RAV4 review and uh, relative to this cross country trip that we took, we took a tremendous, we're in the tail end of a tremendous road trip uh, west, west of Seattle, a hundred and some miles. We started and we drove all the way to Vero Beach, Florida, and now we're mostly the most of the way back one more night in Pendleton where we're going to clean out the Wild Horse Casino and become millionaires and we'll be back tomorrow and the trip will be over but uh, but anyway this little Grab 4 we rented it through Enterprise we, we've got a nice we've got several nice vehicles we just didn't want to put 7,000 miles on our own vehicles in the dead of winter and have broken windshields from, from rocks and chips and you know all that and we got a got this 22 rev rev4 unlimited mileage three weeks for 1140 bucks now how in the heck can you beat that and this has really been a nice little this, I, don't, I don't know that i'd buy one personally uh, we you know we're, we're german car people kind of snobs maybe i guess but um this this little car has not skipped a beat i mean of course it's a toyota it's not going to but it's got plenty of room for luggage you got an all-wheel drive in case the stuff gets weather gets lousy you run 70 miles an hour and you get 32 three miles a gallon out of this thing even at uh, you know in the in the low 80s in these red states that allow people more freedom you know there's not these nanny states where they want you to do 50 miles an hour 60 miles an hour what the politicians would really want people to be doing these red states uh, believe in freedom and you can fly through them but uh, you still get 25 26 out of this thing running those kinds of speeds and it's it's pretty comfortable. It's, it's not as comfortable as an Audi, I, I, you know, or a BMW or something. But you know, it's half the cost. I, I would I would say that overall, the the vehicle is ahead of the money by far on what these things cost. This is just a really nice, just a really nice. Uh, we got this nice interface here. Whatever the I don't know. We're boomers, so we don't we don't know technology all that well, but. It's got a very nice, uh, all kinds of things you can you can look at this screen and adjust things and change things and do things. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, if somebody was looking at wanting to buy a 22 RAV4, I would say you couldn't go wrong. So there you have it. 